private saving in Ghana, the combined efforts of financial development, interest rates, and inflation. This article is written by two authors. First author Samuel Erasmus Elna. Second author Duabin Mady. Contribution and originality of the study is that, macroeconomic decisions and their influence on the saving behavior of the shadow economy in Ghana is understudied, thus the joint role of financial development, interest rate, and inflation in determining private saving behavior has not had deserved recognition in the extant literature. Therefore, this study will add to the empirical literature by looking at the combined effects of financial development, interest rates and inflation rates on private saving behavior among Ghanaians. Understanding private saving behavior of the citizenry is crucial for informed policy decisions in an economy. The reason is not far-fetched, economies gain sustained growth from investment through a positive saving culture. However, much of the available literature is on aggregate savings rather than on private saving behavior. This study looks at the combined effects of financial development, interest rates and inflation rates on private saving behavior among Ghanaians. Data for the study were obtained from the World Bank Development Indicators between 1980 and 2019. Johansson's co-integration test was employed, and attempts were made to ascertain the existence of a long-run relationship among variables using the vector autoregressive VAR, model. The study confirms a significant positive relationship between private saving behavior and financial sector development. This partly explains the relevance of deepening the financial sector through reductions in costs of performing transactions and initiating contracts to encourage private saving through improved propensity to save by the old and to attract new entrants. A reliance on macroeconomic variables to forecast the behavior of private saving enjoins policy decision makers to consider the implications of their decisions for private saving. Among the recommendations are, lower borrowing costs across the economy resulting in increased investment and consumption spending, and hence economic recovery in times of stagnation. Thanks for watching this video of Asian Development Policy Review Volume 10 Issue Number 3.